What's up, YouTube? Found a 6190 here. Uh, thought I'd make a quick video of some pickups I, I've gotten lately. As you can probably hear from the thunder and stuff outside, uh, storming pretty bad. So, just decided to make this quick vid. I uh, started off with uh, Scream Factory, Collector's Edition Blu ray, uh, George A. Romero's Day of the Dead. Really like the artwork. all the different zombies the dead walk the darkest day of horror the world has ever known watch this last night really like the transfer special features are great and uh, all these first group, uh, I got all these from uh, Best Buy. So let's see. I'm sorry, Fry's, not Best Buy. And there's the original poster art. Um, don't need to say much about the movie. Everybody knows it. Uh, to me, it's my favorite in George Romero's uh, Dead Saga. And you see all the features. I watched most of them last night. So, let's open it up. There's your Blu ray. Love that artwork. I think that's the exclusive uh, VHS poster that was re it was released on back in the day. But I really like that artwork. Of Bub. Let's see. Show the back. Yeah, show the back. But, uh, yeah. Another great addition uh, from Scream Factory, man. Really love the stuff they're putting out. So, that's a uh, Day of the Dead. And,. We got Rob Zombie's The Lords of Salem. And this is Blu-ray, DVD, Ultraviolet, all that stuff. Let's see right there. The back. The best movie to date by director Rob Zombie. I don't think so. Um, I still like Devil's Rejects better, uh, but I do like this movie. Um, I would say it's the second best movie he's ever done. Um, Real atmospheric, real uh, vivid colors, um, crazy story, <laughs> but uh, I do like it. I think it's a good movie. Uh, I know a lot of people either love it or hate it. I like it. You know, uh, let's see. There you have the DVD case. Check out the back. Basically the same thing goes on the slip case. Open it up. Get rid of the ultraviolet there. Do you have your DVD? And then your Blu-ray. But yeah, it's a crazy story. Uh, do with witches and being burned alive, you know during the time of the Salem witch trials and all that stuff and uh you know a curse being placed and you know all kinds of crazy shit the devil's baby antichrist all that so it's all in there uh but it's a good movie um i say if you've been turned off by other stuff rob zombie has done go watch this one cuz it's completely different than anything else he's ever done and it's pretty good so all right let's move on pick this one up Frankenstein's Army. War is hell. This place is worse. And uh, I really dug this movie. That was really good. Um, it's got the handheld thing going on. Um, it's about a group of Russian soldiers who get a distress call. And uh, they go to this little village. It's during the, the war. Uh, and they go to this little village. Um, 
thinking they're gonna encounter Nazis have taken you know their people hostage or whatever but it's this soldier right I mean this uh, doctor right here who I believe is the descendant of uh, the original Frankenstein himself dr. Frankenstein and he's creating all these uh, insane creatures for the Nazis to go to war with and uh, you know it's not a very original story or anything like that but the star of the show is definitely the creatures I mean they're pretty cool can see some poem and it, it's gory creatures like I said are the star uh, let's see here special features and the making of and the creature spots I wish I would have included more in-depth stuff on the on the creatures but who knows maybe in a future edition they will but yeah it's a good movie definitely check this out um, if you like creature effects and then there you can see some more of the creatures he creates. That's Frankenstein's army. All right. This one I haven't seen. I've heard it isn't a great. It isn't a great movie, but uh, it was like five dollars, so I picked it up. Blu-ray DVD edition. William Heinzman, Flesh Eater. And uh, you know the big claim to fame is he's the original uh, zombie from Night uh, of the Living Dead, but I believe in the movie he was credited as the ghoul, first ghoul or something like that. But how cool is it they made a feature for him, you know, starring the original Night of the Living Dead zombie? There you go. Haven't watched it, so I don't know if the transfer is any good or even if the movie's any good. But I'll get to it. Flesh Eater delivers the goods. Let's just open it up. There's your Blu ray. And here is your DVD. I actually like this cover. I mean, this DVD artwork better. Pretty cool. And burial ground. This was also at fragilely cheap, five bucks. When the moon turns red, the dead shall rise. Burial ground, nights of terror. And funnily enough, I don't think I have ever ever seen this, so I have to check it out pretty soon. Looks like good '80s splattery fun. Got a couple special features, nothing too great, but got a couple. All right. Doesn't want to open. Hmm. There it goes. And the case slid out. That's never good. I mean, the, the Blu-ray slid out. That's never good. Let's see. Like I said, I just picked these up. Same thing. It's on the cover. Cover art. But, uh... Yeah, never seen this one, so I'll be checking into this one pretty soon. Alright, these next two I picked up at Best Buy. Picked this one up the day it came out. Blu-ray edition. John Carpenter's Halloween. 35th anniversary edition and I wasn't going to pick this one up but um because I didn't really like the artwork on it but when I saw it in person rather than just you know the pictures I'd seen online it did look pretty damn good so I was like yeah I gotta pick it up <laughs> as you can see I still have the, the backing on it so the paper backing you can see some of the special features New audio commentary, John Carpenter, Jamie Lee Curtis, looking forward to that. And I would definitely want to check out the night she came home. So let's look through this bad boy. Got the original poster art right there. Cool. Halloween. 
and here's the little uh, booklet some cool pictures and then uh, evil hiding among us is an ancient theme like I said I haven't had a chance to read through any of this or go through any of this I just got this one uh, I'd actually put it on um, hold so they would hold it for me at the store and uh, picked it up and just just I just opened it literally uh, Donald Pleasance so. it's a cool picture So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to check this out. I've heard that the transfer is really good. So hmm. pretty cool stuff. Pretty good pictures. And what is the boogeyman? I'm assuming this was uh, for security purposes. This little white piece of paper right here. So. So I can get rid of that. And then it shows you everything you're getting with it. Um, the one thing that I have heard about that I do not like is the fact that the disc is right in here in this little cardboard. And it's slotted out and it can get scratched up pretty easily. Um, but there's the disc. So... Yeah, that kind of sucks, but hey, it's pretty good. Uh, I think this is from Anchor Bay as well, so got to give them props for doing something great. It's been a while since they've done anything that great, so let's put that baby back in there. And yeah, it's a tight fit. Yeah, so. All right, so there's that one. One more to go, which I also got at Best Buy. And it is the complete Friday the 13th collection 12 films of terror and uh, just opened this one as well um, didn't pick this one up uh, when it first came out um, actually when I went to go pick up my Halloween 35th anniversary edition that they were holding for me I saw one more case of this, this one out so I grabbed it and picked that up as well as you can see it still has the blu-ray slide on it. Let's get that off of there. You can see it's all it is. It has the has a couple things on the back. Sorry about that glare. Right. So, let's see if I can open this with one hand and got it. I told you I told the others they didn't believe me. You're all doomed. Pretty cool. The complete collection. And of course, who's more synonymous with the Friday films than uh, Willa Ford, of course. <laughs> I have no idea why they put that on there. But let's check it out. Let's see what we got here. And there's my ultraviolet, so we'll just set that to the side real quick. This is like a little band or something that's on there. Let's get this off. And there we go. So yeah. Take a look through here. You see Mrs. Voorhees. 
this is pretty good. It's real thick paper. Uh, almost cardboard like. Okay, and the discs are also in the little cardboard here. So. It's not cool. I'm not a big fan of that, but hey, I guess they had to save space somehow, you know? Final chapter. Part five. Part six. Jason lives. So I'm assuming all those are on the same disc. Um, part seven. Part eight. There's only one disc, so I'm assuming that um, five and six are also on the same disc. And now, of course, you got nine Jason goes to hell and ten Jason X just one disc so and you got Freddy versus Jason hmm then the remake which I don't think is that bad I think it just gets a pretty bad rap because it's a remake I don't think it's that bad of a movie That's a cool picture right there. Killer bonus disc DVD. And that's it. All right. So that's it for the disc holder. And then you got your 3D glasses for part three, of course. Cool. And then my official Camp Crystal Lake Counselor Patch. Hmm. Crystal Lake Memories. The Complete History of Friday the 13th. Let's see. Now, I've never read the Crystal Lake uh, Memories book, but I'm assuming these are all like ex excerpts from, uh, from that book. We'll just go through it pretty quick. Getting kind of long here. Pretty lengthy, uh, pretty lengthy booklet here, so that's pretty cool. Good to see uh, Jason get a really good, um, good to see the Friday the 13th film get a really good presentation on Blu-ray. I know fans have been waiting forever for it, so about time it happened. And uh, I believe there was an issue about the um, 
the uncut versions of certain certain of the films not being released. And uh, I've heard, I don't know if it's true or not, but I've heard that uh, the uncut footage probably doesn't exist anymore. So that kind of sucks, but what can you do? We're getting there. Getting close to the end. There's probably my favorite design of Jason right there. Really love that that look, that zombie outlook. And in my opinion, probably the worst look for Jason. Kind of looks like a crazy, deformed pumpkin. And there you see Jason getting dragged to hell. And Jason X. Now nah, that's a cool picture to end it off on right there, guys. Again, I don't think I should back, which is just the dock up here coming off. Let's see. Let's see if we got any. Nope, no picture in the back. So we just ended on that that note right there. So it's just, it's just such a huge part of the Friday the 13th film. So um, stay tuned, guys. Um, hope to have another poster update pretty soon i know i said i was going to hold off on getting posters because so much stuff was coming out and i have a trip planned and this and that but i've got a couple good deals and i just couldn't pass them up on some posters i've really been wanting so uh stay tuned and uh see you later